All right. Hi, everyone. Hi. We are the founder of Japan Medical Device, and today we'd like to talk about a disease that will affect four out of five people here. It's back pain. Back pain can make everyday tasks, such as tying a shoe or just walking, almost impossible. And for many, the pain does not go away. That is the case of my mother, for instance, or Julian, one of our friends and many patients we've met. Um, in Julian's case, uh, all right, Julian happens to go through um, the most uh, common treatment for back pain issue, a rehabilitation program, where he works with a physiotherapist and doctors. This treatment focuses on two main areas. The first are physical exercises to retrain his muscle. They are often painful, which makes them difficult for Julian to make. The second focus is to relieve the pain. This is usually achieved by drugs or using a traction table to decompress the spine, which works great while Julian is lying on the table, but it doesn't help at all when he's doing the exercises. This way, he has to take medication. That is why we've created Atlas, the first exoskeleton to relieve back pain patient while allowing them to retrain their body. Atlas is the future of back pain rehabilitation. Atlas is equipped with four micromotors which apply traction on the spine to decompress, to relieve the pain caused by the pressure. It has a whole set of sensors to follow every patient's move and ensure their physical activities is safe and comfortable. Can you switch to front camera, please? Up. When at his PT appointment, Julian can now easily strap on the Atlas and get immediate pain relief. Here, we can see the motors on the device expanding and decompressing Julian's spine. Antoine, actually. Now we can easily focus on doing exercises as advised by his PT instructors at his twice daily session at the rehab center. The point is to retrain the muscles without pain. The device, sorry for that. The device can be used whether in conjunction with muscle strengthening, positioning, or stretching exercises. As a result, the, easy, the exercises are uh, easier to go through and it takes less pain medication for Julian. Better adherence to the treatment means there's a higher chance of success in solving the, the back issue. Oh. Yeah, all right. Um, so we've already validated the decompression through simulation and we've patented the device. We've also worked and uh, tried the device on a rehabilitation doctor who suffers from back pain. He validated the relief and the benefit of the device. So Damien and I have been developing robotic medical device together for five years. And after two different experiences in neurostimulation of back pain and exoskeleton, we realized that this new technology could solve this major health issue. We are now a team of fantastic engineers and industrial designers to bring this product on the market. We are also working with Doctor to develop the product and promote it. Atlas will first be sold to rehabilitation. It doesn't work. Oh. Atlas will first be sold to rehabilitation center, the main caretaker for chronic back pain. They are getting used to robotic rehabilitation with a similar device on the market for knee rehabilitation. To bring the device on the market, we'll first begin our clinical trials. To bring the device on the market, we'll first begin our clinical trials uh, this year in June. These trials will be carried out on 10 persons in collaboration with our partner hospital in Lille, the largest hospital in France. After that, we'll be able to reach the European market by the end of this, this year, 2017, and we're planning on reaching the US market two years after that. With the European distribution, the Atlas app will launch. It is a tool for PT professionals to um, monitor and plan their um, patients' exercises and recovery. And our ambition goes further. JAPE aims to bring the leading solution in home care rehabilitation. Ultimately, Atlas will be available as a consumer device for rehabilitation use at home. So, to learn more about the future of rehabilitation and JAPE medical device, give us a visit at Eureka Park or on a website, jape.eu. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>
Do you want to just use my mic? Uh, I, I've been struggling okay. with the mic. Uh, I must have a weird shape here. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've been there. Don't worry about it. Uh, can, we, can we try it on? Hi. M mine is working. What? Oh, can you try, try it on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Does, any, does anyone want to try it? All right. <laughs> Jenny is brave. Uh, all right, while she's trying it on, does anyone want to so see this So we have different sizing. You're a bit too uh, small for this size, but it should work. So please close it. Okay. okay. So I'm going to tighten it. I will be the physiotherapist. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And you just light it on like this. Oh, wow. And you can try to move. So the main is the basis How you feeling there? Treatment is it is inflating? To do exercises. Is it inflating? What's the reaction? Uh, I feel like I'm in a, in a Taller. It, <laughs> it feels really weird. <laughs> um, it feels like I'm in a compression suit, though. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So am I supposed to be doing exercises? In fact, you're supposed to move to retrain your muscle. When you have back pain, you tend to do less and less activities. Uh -huh. And Did when you, you tend to do more activities, there is still pain. But with this, you get rid of the pain. Can I go running in it? Not yet. Not yet. OK. Soon, though? Uh, we are not planning on, uh, right now, our focus is for rehabilitation to bring people on uh, their daily activity, not running. Okay. Other questions? So is, is this meant to <laughs> now that I look like a just make <laughs> sure you're doing, you have the right posture when you're doing exercises, or is it meant to train you so that it's your body is... Like right now, I'm feeling something so that my muscles... But I think the question is, so that's great, but when you take it off, is it intended to improve your, your posture and other ergonomic elements just in your daily life. So we have positioning exercises as well to improve the posture yeah. of the persons and um, provide them Thank with you. stretching exercises as well as muscle strengthening. The, main, the major point is to get rid of the, the pain barrier that the patient is facing when going through the physiotherapy. So decompressing so we get rid of the pain and he can go through muscle exercises and muscling to get rid of the back issue on the long run. Okay, so I'd be up for trying this. Um, you said it's $4,500, though, so that's kind of a lot of money. Are you guys thinking about working with insurance companies, and do you have to wait until FDA and all of that? Um, so we are planning to sell it to Rehabilitation Center. They're already using a knee rehabilitation robot for the exact same price. But after that, we are planning to sell it to consumer device for a renting model. So nobody will never buy it for personal use at this price. When I look at your team, I mean, a, as you're talking about using rehabilitation centers and really looking at the doctor system, you know, doctors and real, rehabilitation centers, how, do you, how does your team look in terms of being able to grow into that business? That's a, and it's almost an enterprise, it is an enterprise focused business. What do you think about yourself from a team perspective about being able to convince these centers that this is the right solution for, you, for them? So for us, uh, right now, we have been trained at a, one of the best marketing schools in France, I, I should say. And we are getting uh, mentored by a top CEO in North of France uh, to be able to sell the device to those people. We are also working closely with a doctor open to innovation that introduces us to those different centers. So it, I think the usage model said two times a half an hour to 45 minutes a day. Are you intending for both those sessions to be with um, you know, at a PT, at a therapist, or is this something that someone's gonna have to take home with them, so that's one device per patient? So usually, patients who do who go through rehabilitation training, they stay at the rehabilitation center, so they would have just two sessions a day when they are at the rehabilitation center. After that, we can expand to a physiotherapist uh, cabinet, but that would be another business model. I mean, from, from rehabilitation, one of the things you find is, is getting, the, getting the patients to do it when they go home and creating that link between therapist and the, the home use is really important. How did you build that into the product or how will you add that to the product? So the point of launching... Uh, can you hear me well right now? Yes. The point, uh, the point of launching the app is uh, exactly to make this bound between the rehab and the uh, at-home training. So the PT will be able to monitor the patient even out of the rehab center, and the, the patient has to be able to uh, learn by himself what are the good exercises to do and the good routine for everyday life. So is the, 
I'm thinking about the, the, the payer and the 4,500 bucks a month. Is the value proposition wrapped up in shorter time in the physical therapist, faster time to recovery from injury? Is that really the core value prop? I think you said the four, uh, 4,500 a month, but is that not a month for oh, I'm sorry, one, one time. Yeah, yeah one time. Regardless of the price, is the, is the value proposition around faster recovery time, hence less physical therapist visits? So the um, our main proposition, our main value proposition is to improve the success rate of rehabilitation. Because usually rehabilitation, people who go for rehabilitation, they suffer from the exercises as they take to just quit when they go back home. But if they have been trained enough and if they can keep the device afterward, then they will be uh, able to not quit basically the rehabilitation. So along this route then, uh why don't I wear it all the time? If, if, if it's teaching and Did it's not... Did you see how I looked up there? <laughs> well, I was going to give them the opportunity <laughs> to say checking. they have a sexy version coming, but... But is it something over time that I, if it were small or lighter over time that I just integrate in and so that that learning is happening 24 by 7? Or is this really a, a very focused tool? So you just have to use it for two sessions a day in the rehabilitation center. And then when you get home, you can use it uh, even for two, three hours, or just when you feel too much pain and you want a relief. Their V2 product will be the light version. It looks, I mean, that looks pretty good already, but like, it'll be really chic. All right, guys, thank you so much. Give it thank up you. one more time for Jepe. And uh, so I think we're gonna bring up our next company, Stratio. They're gonna get set up um, and while you guys, while they're getting set up, judges, real quick, what did you guys think of Jepe? I mean, uh, rehabilitation, big market, no question. I think it was brought up earlier. One of the big challenges is, you know, how do you, what's your path to revenue? And really finding out who pays because is it physician recommended? Is it insurance? Is it end user? I think that's always a big question. Then can you really sell into it? So sometimes you can build the best product but if you can't sell it, or if you can't figure out how to get into the channel, it's, it makes it more difficult. Totally agree. Um, going through FDA, you know, long road to that, and you know, how do we find the, the channel? So you know, I agree, but I think it's a cool device. It, I definitely felt um, you know, different in it and be interested to experiment with it. I'm sure the team knows this, but you'll want to find an investor when it's time that knows that FDA process. I mean, this is not a space that I go into because that's a huge part of the risk, and I don't know the risk, so I stay away from it. But there's a lot more knowledgeable folks than, than me in this space. But if you had to pick a market, uh, do most people suffer from back pain? The answer at some point is yes, so good place to start. Thank you, guys. <laughs>